little old BYU's coming back and trying to beat ASU. Uh -huh. And then um, if they win the uh, Big 12 uh, championship game, they have a legitimate shot at making the 12 team playoff for the uh, for the national championship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they really can uh, beat Texas and and um, Georgia and uh, Oregon and Ohio State? Are you sure about that? Did you see what happened with Indiana? I think Indiana could beat BYU. Okay, <laughs> okay, I really do. All right. And you saw what Ohio State did to Indiana today. Right? So, um, you know, starting defense, place at the table, steroids for everyone, right? Um, what about the Lord's Prayer? You know, you love the Lord's Prayer? Bunch of narcissistic, sex-crazed assholes don't have to win a football game for corporations to um, throw uh, do uh, Dr. Peppers with no sugar through somebody else's window, right? Questionable secondaries, right? So, what does it fucking matter? You know, remember in 2020 when they canceled the March Madness and we don't have an NCAA basketball champion? And uh, we're still getting fucked in the head by corporations with technology saying, we need more money, we need more money, right? And it hasn't done anything to give us the peace of the Messiah, the love of the Messiah. The faith of the Messiah, right? So what does it matter what those assholes are doing on TV? Except for, you're just, I'm curiously watching it. And then uh, giving you better mathematics and linguistics than you ever heard from anybody on the, what's the name of the thing? Supreme Court, Supreme Court, there it is, Supreme Court. Yeah, you have these people on the Supreme Court where they make laws to govern the greatest country in the history of the world, right? And you're like, are you sure about that? <laughs> you guys might want to reevaluate your understanding of the word God, all right? Every time I go to the dump, take recycles back, there's a house on the corner. When I come down Angler to Valley, and it says, you know, God is Lord. Show us your glory, uh, God, you know. God, sh sh Lord, show us your glory. It's like uh, Jesus said, Jehovah is the power and glory. And if you're humble enough to submit to faith in God, um, you don't turn Jesus into Caesar or Nebuchadnezzar or Pharaoh in your fucked up little head. <laughs> Hey, they put the signs out on their freaking gate all the time, knowing damn well that I live in this town, most likely, and drive by that every time I take stuff to the recycler. Every time I take my plastic bottles to the recycler, I have to read that shit. And I'm like, okay, are you humble enough to have faith in the glory of God? Okay, well then Jesus Christ is Lord but not God. Okay, Pharaoh, Nebuchadnezzar? And you've got to understand, okay? If I am Lord, and Jesus is Lord, and you declare us God, and your God, okay, cannot follow the commands of the Lord, your God sucks, and your God is you. Right, do you understand that? Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you, right? And so, living is a dream when you make it seem enchanted. Love is take for granted. Okay. But when your dreams are slanted through a lover's eyes, right? Then you truly are enchanted. Hi. This is New Mexico. We call it the land of enchantment. I was born here July 19th, 1966. At an office building they used to call the hospital. Yeah, at the corner of Alameda, Maine, and El Paseo. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's what mom said. All the rest of the mommies in there that night? Aye. Spanish speakers. Orale. Okay. So, you know, if you want to know about the book of Revelation, come talk to me. Don't talk to an asshole at a church who uh, has his wife send the kids in to stake out a place where they have donations and steal all of my children's childhood toys and memories and then teach people about it. You know, no. 
living in the Lord's Prayer doesn't save us. Jesus being offered as a pagan ritual sacrifice to the Roman uh, corporations is what saves us. So, an innocent child being murdered, okay, as God occupying flesh just like you, saves you from all the bad things you've done by denying the faith of Jesus Christ. Wow. Are you sure about that? Because I teach people better to be Christians and Muslims and like Father Abraham than anybody on the planet today. I'm certain of it. Because Jeff Be Bezos and YouTube hasn't put up, you know, David Goggins doesn't do it. The Huberman Lab don't do it. All those people pretending to be Jesus and people in the Bible on TV for money don't do it. So I'm certainly, I'm absolutely certain, okay, that the person on planet Earth today, from the bowels of hell, okay, this is the place where they threaten to blow up everybody with nuclear weapons across the world if they can't abuse them with money, okay? If you go over that way, towards the setting sun, there's a place called Cochise County, Arizona. Okay, has the best Wi-Fi transmission and reception in the entire world, okay? I lived there from right before All Hallows Eve 2006 until February of 2011. I had all kinds of superheroes and super scientists and everything come and question me and confront me and challenge me. And they had to send me back home here to Las Cruces because they couldn't handle me in Sierra Vista. And their technology was so extensive and so invasive that their technology would have started assimilating to me more than the people at their military bases. The top surveillance technology is not in Roswell. It's not in Los Alamos, okay? Not at Peterson Air Force Base. It's over there in Cochise County, okay? The only way they can keep the technology to where they can manipulate you with it, invade your house through linguistics, and get you to kill people over money is to keep me far away from Fort Huachuca and have me over here where all the bombs are at, where they threaten to blow you up if you don't um, participate in their contest. You can't obey what they're doing. You can obey me. Forgive dead and trespass, love one eternal faithful peace. I obey, you can do that, right? But you can't obey them because they haven't done anything to have you go, okay, I will obey you because you are right. You're righteous and you love us. Okay, obedient people. Okay, understand I have to obey the Lord because he's righteous and he's right. Okay, Fort Huachuca is not righteous and or right. So you cannot obey them. You can be manipulated by them. You can be fucked by them. You can be murdered by them. But you can't obey them. Or you can murder, fuck, and manipulate with them. But you can't obey them. You can obey me because I'm right. Right? I am the light, I am the way. None unto the faith of Father Jesus except done through me. None unto the faith of Father Muhammad except done through me. None unto the faith of Father Fehele Selassie except done through me. Right? Odalay. Okay, I say. Sam I am and green eggs and ham. And <laughs> you guys understand? Sam Harris, what an asshole he is. Yeah, Richard Dawkins, asshole. Bill Gates, asshole. Stephen Hawking, total asshole. I remember my boy Al told me there's love in there. I was like, it seems like that and it feels like that, Al, and I understand. He wants to make the world a better place for humanity. But if he wanted to make the world a better place for humanity, he wouldn't make it a better place. He would participate in it being a better place. He didn't make anything. Okay, he didn't even make his huge ego. He inherited it. Okay. <laughs> you can't kill God to create uh, the world in the image of your ego. Theory of everything, Stephen Hawking. Love, no. Okay, the man res refuses to love because he participated in the denial of faithful love through the eternity of the perpetual molecular structures of the replications of bodies that are the temples for the soul to make him miserable and be the cause of the disease that debilitated him. I explained that to him right off the bat when we talked. 
And he got so fucking mad. No, I don't want to hear that. See? Okay. Positive K. I've got a man. I'm not trying to hear that. See? I've got a man. What's your man got to do with me? Well, Jesus is a man and you're not. So you can step. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So I like this guy. You know, guys, I like me too. I like me too. And you know how much I love you, right? Okay, and I get a lot of times when I get these videos, I was like, I get, I love this guy. And I say it out loud, but I know it's not me. It's a lot of people that are watching me and there's no numbers on YouTube saying 5 million and 37 views, right? And uh, <laughs> so there's a lot of people that are getting it, a lot of guys, especially. I love this guy, man. He's better than Dwayne Rack Johnson and Troy Polamalu, pretending to be some kind of fucked up, uh, a uh, mythological character from a propaganda movie about Polynesians to make more money to fuck us in the air. I agree. I, I, I like and love, I, I mean, I like me too. And if I was you, I'd love me just as much as you, you should. You know, we're feeling good. We could, we should, we would. Stop. Think for a moment, okay? Right? And so I see why I get that feedback. I love this guy. Yeah, because you know I love you too. Right. I love you too, I love you too. I tell you I love you, right? So, I'm a, David is resistant to say that to me, so stiff. Yeah. Uh, my cousins, my cousins are a little mad because they think I'm doing it wrong. It's like, you're not standing up for the Lord's Prayer and the bowels of hell and I am. And if you, you're like Barack Obama, if I did it, I'd do it better than you. Which is why you ain't did it. You ain't gonna do it and you never gonna do it. Here's your bag of money. Grab a rope, grab a tree over there. It's gonna be an excellent suicide today. It's painless. Go over there. All right? What do you think? This is the life of Brian in reverse? Look at Earl's funny. It's just because you have to see the Monty Python movie. It's not even funny then. Oh, shut up. What do you know for funny? Okay, so guys, let's put this one on stop. We'll go load this one and wait our another customary two plus hours or whatever for it to load we'll get back to work again this is neither bad nor good it's just this is the uh public access that i have and i'm not garth or wayne and uh, and i don't have a uh, abraham lincoln damn that's so sucky because i'm such a gorgeous guy and so loving so romantic and so gorgeous seriously it's, someone should have a loving kind and faithful beautiful wife who's like Esther and wants to stand up for all the children to live world peace it's me seriously gosh you guys are so horrible to your messiah icky